pen from those who are trying to write an American story of misogyny and racism. We are grabbing back the pen from those who are trying to write an American story that would deny the right for women to make our own decisions about our bodies. Houston, we are grabbing back the pen. to forge a new path with Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz. We are grabbing back the pen to write a new American story, a story of community, of equality, strength, of kindness, and of hope. When I was a little girl and I pledged allegiance to the United States of America, that meant something to me. That flag meant something to me. And today, that means grabbing that pen and casting my vote, as I already did two days ago, for Kamala Harris and Tim Walz. Now, Houston, you've already had a hand in creating destiny. So do what you do and do this thing again. Texas women supporting and celebrating the one and only Vice President Kamala Harris. A woman who's been pushing for what this country really needs right now, unity. It's impossible not to feel the energy in this room, the positivity, the community, the humanity. We are at the precipice of an incredible shift, the brink of history. I'm not here as a celebrity. I'm not here as a politician. I'm here as a mother. A mother who cares deeply about the world my children and all of our children live in. A world where we have the freedom to control our bodies, a world where we're not divided, our past, our present, our future merge to meet us here. Imagine our daughters growing up seeing what's possible with no ceilings, no limitations. Imagine our grandmothers, imagine what they feel right now, those who have lived to see this historic day. Even those who are no longer physically with us, imagine all of their sacrifice. The sacrifices made so we can witness the strength of a woman standing in her power, reimagining what leadership is. For all the men and women in this room and watching around the country, we need you. Your voice has power and magnitude. Your vote is one of the most valuable tools, and we need you. Your freedom is your God-given right, your human right. Everybody say Texas. Texas plays a pivotal role to change the course of our future. Texans and Houstonians from Third Ward, River Oaks, Sugar Land, Fifth Ward, Ailey, Memorial, Southwest Side, North Side, all the way down to Most City. We all have a role to play to make this a reality. 
We're all part of something much bigger. We must vote. And we need you. It's time to sing a new song. A song that began 248 years ago. And we need you. Your freedom is your God-given right, your human right. Everybody say Texas. Texas plays a pivotal role to change the course of our future. We all have a role to play to make this a reality. We're all part of something much bigger. We must vote. And we need you. It's time to sing a new song. A song that began 248 years ago. The old notes of downfall, discord, despair, no longer resonate. Our generations of loved ones before us are whispering a prophecy, a quest, a calling, an anthem. Our moment right now, it's time for America to sing a new song. Our voices sing a chorus of unity. They sing a song of dignity and opportunity. Are y'all ready to add your voice to the new American song? Because I am. So let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big, loud Texas welcome to the next President of the United States. Beyonce and Beyonce Knowles and Kelly Rowland giving a speech to support for Kamala Harris and it was so excited and uh, Beyonce looks beautiful and uh, very electric very electric as uh, with thousands of people attended of course they wanna she said she wasn't there for as a politician or as a performer she was there as a mother so there was a very cool speech from Beyonce and Kelly Rowland, uh, she, she did so good. So well done, Kelly. Uh, you make me, I, I make you, uh, I mean, you make me proud. Is that, what, is that how you say it? I'm, I'm proud of her anyway. Uh, her speech was very, very uh, forceful and uh, strong and good speech from Kelly Rowland. Well done, Kelly. 
I love it. So, and I know Kamala Harris is uh, giving the speech.